All right, y'all, I just went out and caught these flounder and I'm about to show y'all the tips, techniques that I use to be able to get these flounder in the boat. Um, fished out here for about two and a half hours this morning, so y'all stay tuned, watch the video, let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all, we're gonna target flounder and the lure I'm gonna do that with is a gulp drub, four inch drub on a death grip jig head. And we're gonna start targeting these grass lines tides up really good right now so hopefully we can find a couple of big flounder there he is there he is that might be a decent one pretty sure that's gonna be a flounder come on it feels just like it is come here not a bad one first fish of the morning he's definitely gonna go in the box all right right off that patch of grass right there he has taken me a while I started to think I was not gonna find a flounder here there's just so much bait in the area right now hard to compete with but you gotta know with all this bait the fish are here just gotta hit them there she is, first flounder. Kind of on the skinny side, but I don't know. Probably about 17 inches or so. Go ahead and put this guy in the box. Keep on moving on down through here. I love where the water levels are at right now. And actually, high tide's still coming in. High tide, I think, is around 8 this morning. It's probably sitting around 6.30 right now. But that water is real high along the grass line but i'm still i got the current coming through here like it was a falling tide which i think that's got a lot to do with the amount of rain we've had and the uh creeks and rivers north of here just kind of flooded and pushing that water out right now so when that tide des does decide to fall it's going to fall pretty fast that might be when the bike's gonna really turn on. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna swap over to a Bugs Flats jig, and really for several reasons. One, I've gotten in some really, really shallow water, and that Flats jig, I can just slowly retrieve it, keep it above the mud, and uh, all that rabbit hair is gonna continue to flare up with the current and whatnot. Also got a chartreuse color, should hopefully, um, give them something a little different to look at the pearl white has not been working for me really well this morning I only put one flounder in the box and then lastly we got a lot of oysters a lot of riffraff right here but that flat head is going to keep my hook pointing upward so i can sit there and move it across it come over the top of it where with the jig head it's falling to the side and getting snagged a lot so that's the deal throw that flats jig out there and uh Hopefully, we can pick up some more fish on it. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. On the flats, Jig. Come here. Oh no, stay down. Come here. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. Uh uh, come here. Oh. Boom. <laughs> that is a good one, y'all. Man, I have worked this little area with that flats, Jig. I just I felt those oysters down in there. I felt. A lot of space where there was mud I don't know I just had that feeling that if I kept on with it I was gonna catch a good flounder in there or at least a flounder and sure enough there it was oh that one right there is a decent fish for sure and that's the ones we're looking for right there solid flounder that right there is what it ate It was barely, barely in there too. Man, what a fish. Put them in the box, get out here. 
think that's the deal. I'm gonna stay around these oysters, some of the shallow water, throw in this flats jig. I think we can find some more. That's a bite. That's a fish. That's a flounder. That's a big fish. That's pulling like a flounder, and that's got to be a big one. Oh, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's him. That's a doggone big one. Boom! Let's go! Jacked up on his belly side, but man. Came out here and decided to uh, get off on some of these ledges just a little bit. It's a little bit of structure down here on the deep end and kind of just bounce it, work slowly. The marsh was really, really slow up north, so decided to come down here and bam! We have been working at it a little while though. That is one of the fish we needed right there. Let's see what she goes right here. Solid, solid 18 inch fish right there. Whew. All right. Anytime when I'm fishing deep ledges, drop offs, things like this, which you see my grass line coming through right here. It's probably about three to five feet up there close to the bank. And then it drops down from nine feet. And then right behind me, it's actually about 20 feet. So got a lot of ledges and it's more of a sandy bottom than a mud bottom but still even though i'm in that deep water i'm working a quarter ounce jig on a gulp i know earlier i was using a flats jig in that real shallow water and this is kind of the opposite of that but um letting it fall bouncing it back up and really working it slow in this deep water in that shallower water my retrieves are they're pretty moderate i mean they're not really slow they're not super fast uh but whenever i get out here in this deep stuff that that's when you want to slow down making sure your lure is falling and getting down there as close to the bottom as you can get it all right so that's pretty much it these are the three flounder that we caught this morning awesome day out here we didn't catch a whole lot of fish a lot of scrambling moving around changing techniques but the end result is that we were able to get a few decent fish in there this one's pretty cool right here it looks like somebody tried to gig at them and maybe missed <laughs> i don't know have fun out here i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time